Hey guys, my name is Jason. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to apply the paint and fabric protection system to RVs and trailers. All right, first things first, let's put our safety gloves on. And when you receive the hydrofoamer system, this is what it's going to look like. You're going to have the jar, the cap, and the nozzle. And we'll get these all assembled. You're going to take the suction tube out and you want to attach that to the cap where the purple dilution tip is. You can see it there. You always want to make sure that that dilution tips there and that just slides right on. We're going to get our spray on exterior protection, pour it into our jar. Now it's very important. You want to make sure the unit is freshly washed and rinsed off, but you do not have to dry it off. Make sure your cap is on tight. Now you're going to attach your hose nozzle, which is just a quick disconnect. And you're ready to start spraying. Now just remember, apply to all exterior surfaces, the paint, glass, moldings, all the gel coat, all the exterior surfaces. You want to start at the bottom and make sweeping motions up to the top. All right, you want to make sure to let the product stay on at least three to five minutes before rinsing it off. This gives it time to bond to the surfaces. Now you're ready to rinse off top to bottom. Make sure to rinse thoroughly. The spray on exterior protection creates a protective barrier between the unit's paint and all environmental elements, such as road salts, bird droppings, fading, oxidation, acid rain, hard water, sun damage, and insect damage. Next, we're gonna spray our interior protection spray. Fill your bottle up. I like to use the quart pump sprayer because once pressurized, this really gives you a nice, even, consistent mist spray. Just like so. All right, now you're going to spray all of your carpet and upholstery, cloth seats, and be careful not to oversaturate any of the fabric. You can see it's just a nice, even mist over all of the cloth and you do not have to spray any bedding linens curtains or pillows also spray any carpet that's in the unit And you want to let this dry for about an hour. Now remember, if you get any on any vinyl or leather uh, trim, you can just wipe it off with a clean microfiber towel or any that's on the floor. Next up, let's apply our vinyl and leather conditioner. Now you want to spray it directly into an applicator or a microfiber towel. and then wipe all of the vinyl and leather surfaces. Be sure to get all into the cracks and crevices and wipe it nice and consistent. Apply more if you need to. Now the vinyl and leather conditioner has UV inhibitors which seal out ultraviolet rays, which that will fight fading or cracking that you have uh, due to exposure to sun. 
The vinyl leather conditioner will also leave behind a nice matte protected finish so it won't be greasy or shiny. Now your RV or trailer is protected inside and out which will give you valuable protection for years to come. Hey guys, as always, thank you so much for taking time to watch the video. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.